Welcome back to the California Veggie Gardener. Today we're going to show you how to trellis some cucumbers. Now you may just be used to growing your cucumbers in the garden and letting them sprawl all over the place, but they take up a ton of room uh, for the amount of cucumbers you get. A great way to grow them is to put them on a trellis. So right here behind me, I have some cucumbers that I planted a couple weeks ago. They're now about four, three, four inches high, ready to start uh, setting vines. So we'll get the trellis in place uh, so that they can grow up the trellis and start uh, blossoming and making cucumbers. Also, when you grow cucumbers on a trellis, they grow very nicely. They're not laying in the dirt so they don't have a white side on them. They're green all the way around, very uniform in shape, and no bugs are able to eat them when they're hanging up in the trellis. So it works really well to grow your cucumbers on a trellis. So I'm going to put the trellis in, show you how that's done, and then we'll give you a follow-up video later showing you how I actually help the cucumbers climb up the trellis. Okay, so I showed you how to make these trellises in another episode, just with some PVC pipe, drill holes in it every four inches, and then thread some string back and forth. I use fi a fishing line, 30 pound test. What we do is take this um, vegetable or garden rod, thread it through the fishing lines on the trellis back and forth, in the center and then you take your hammer put it in between the two rows of cucumbers uh, so that they can grow up the trellis so I have two rows of cucumbers right here I'm just gonna put it in the middle and so that both sides can grow up it hammer it in place and it's not going anywhere plants will grow up it just fine okay let's take another look at a different type of trellis for this next trellis I'm using a piece of galvanized gating or cage material that they use for like pets. This was left at the house when we bought it, uh, so I'd use it for trellises now. Works really great and you can buy it in the stores. Uh, a piece might cost you like 20 bucks, but it lasts forever. So a great uh, investment if you want to put a trellis on this. Uh, so all I do is put two uh, garden sticks on the end of it. This is just a small section and then I make kind of like a roof uh, for the cucumbers to crawl on. So first let's knock this in, put this in the ground. Okay, so once you got that piece in, I have a bigger piece that I'll grab, it's right here. So this is a bigger piece of galvanized and I'm gonna slide it over top of those two garden rails and I have two other longer garden posts here on the end that are tied on an angle. So uh, this can actually be at an angle. I'll show you how. It just slips on top like this. Put one on there. One on at the other side. Slip it down. Put these posts out to the end. So you just have to reposition the post a little bit to get it right. See what angle you want the cage to be at. That's okay once you got it there. It'll stay all year. So we've got all the posts in the ground. I'm just going to tie the two cages together with some wire. Okay, let's give you a look at this thing from another angle. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> now you can see we have two trellises set up for our cucumbers uh, to grow on. One is just this straight up version that I made out of PVC pipe. We've got two rows of cucumbers on either side so they can grow up that trellis. And then this other version made out of uh, galvanized uh, gating uh, with the cucumbers at the bottom so they can kind of grow up this first little bit and then a little bit at an angle so it's easier for them to climb up this uh, trellis. Okay, so here's a close-up of the cucumbers. You can see them growing now. They're just a few inches tall starting to really shed, spread their leaves. There's one trellis with the fishing line and then the other one right beside it with the galvanized fencing. You can see how the cucumbers will be able to climb up that fencing really well and then take off at an angle up the fencing. You can see all the other plants on the other side growing well. Okay, that's it for this episode. Stay tuned and follow us up next time to see what we have to show. Hey, Callie. What do you say? Goodbye? You eating some onions? Yucky. <laughs> say bye-bye. Say join us next time. Bye-bye. <laughs> Welcome back to California Gardener. So this is a squash update. Uh, it's been a few weeks now since we planted these squash from seed. Uh, they all are planted about, oh, I don't know, 12 inches apart. 
in this landscaping fabric I have down. It's keeping the soil nice and moist below. There's a little bit of weed growth below, but it, for the most part, looks great to me.